Yo, what is up guys? It is Prodigy today, and today I'm bringing you a brand new video. This is going to be a PS4 scuff controller tip video. I'm going to be showing you the configuration I have, how I hold my controller, the sensitivity I play on, and all the stuff in between, so let's get right into it. So with the PS4 scuff controller, I have the right analog stick has the BO3 control freaks. It's this special edition one. I have the other one right here. I don't use the left one. I only use it for the aiming stick because I don't think you really need it for the left one. So I just keep it on the right one. It feels really good in my hands. I mean, with the Xbox One scuff controller, it's a little bit more bigger, obviously, but I like the PS4 one a lot more. It's just easier to hold. It's just a good grip overall. If you guys can see like this. It's just easier to hold, I think in my opinion. And when I hold my controller, you can see I don't put it like on the triggers like this because this is just uncomfortable. Like, I don't think anyone holds their controllers like this. If they do, I don't know how because it just feels really weird to me. But I put my fingers on the triggers like this. I play flip. As you can see I don't play with the triggers. I think it's a little too much of a reach for me. It feels a little uncomfortable. I don't really like it that much playing like this. So I, so I play with the triggers flip so it's easier. I just keep my fingers rested on the buttons. I don't have them arched or anything like that. I just have them rested. So I can just use the whole finger if I want to shoot. I have my index fingers. There are little grips on the bottom of them if you can see them. I don't know if you can. But there's little grips on the bottom and I just keep my fingers on those and I just click the triggers whenever I need to do something. It's pretty simple. But yeah, just an overall good feel in your hand. And of course, you can press a button to you need to respawn or anything like that. But yeah, that's just pretty much how I hold my controller. Now the sensitivity that I play on with my scuff, I play on 4.5. I did play 5.5 five a while ago, but I started getting used to 4.5 because it's a lot easier, I think, to control when you're moving around everywhere. You don't have to go all ape and try to aim super, super fast. You guys can slow it down a little bit. So I play on 4 horizontal, 5 vertical sensitivity. And I this thing is easier. Plus with the control freak on the aiming stick, it just makes it so much more simple. Make your shots way more crisp and your aim a lot more better in a sense. I and mean, you don't have to really strain your fingers to like try to get the perfect shot. You don't really have to try that as hard to get the perfect aim or the accuracy. And how I hold my controller, when I move around, I don't really keep my finger on the analog stick. I keep it right here. It's kind of hard to show you guys right now, but I keep it like right here, rested, if you guys can see. And I just like jolt the joystick around it's kind of hard to explain but i don't really keep it like this when i play i keep it like this so i can press well not only have because i have a scuff but i just keep it right here because it's a habit so i just move it around really because i have a fast enough reaction time around to keep it on the joystick the whole time so i just keep it rested on the side and then of course i have the paddles in this game you don't really have to boost around as much as you did in advanced warfare so that's a good thing about this game the drop shotting on this game is kind of slower than the previous Call of Duty, so the scuff is there for you when you need it. It gives you the competitive edge you need if you need to jump shot someone, if you need to drop shot someone. But overall, it's just there. I use my paddles a lot actually since I'm a competitive player. I use my A paddle more than my B paddle. If I want to slide or G slide or whatever it is, I use my B paddle of course. But most of all, I use my A paddle to get jump shots, wall ride around the map, all that good stuff. But yeah, that's how I hold my controller, guys. One more time if you want to see it. My fingers are rested. Playing flipped. Fingers on the bottom of the paddles. And I just have my other finger just resting on the handles. It just sits in your hand. It doesn't really, like, you have to hold it tight. If you want to hold it tight, if you want to hold it tight, you can. I used to hold my controller really tight, but then I got used to a looser grip. Yeah, I just sit here in the hand, guys. It's really simple. But if you guys want to get these control freaks, they're really good. Any control freaks are good. I think they're the low, the low rise control freaks. They aren't really high on your joysticks. Here's the other one on here. If you guys want to see it, those are both of them look like the both Black Ops 3 Edition control freaks. They're really, really good. 
I like them a lot. These are my first time using Control Freaks. They're really, really good to use if you're a competitive player. I recommend them if you guys haven't had them before. But yeah, guys, this is my PS4 Scuff controller tip video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be live streaming soon after this video is up, so I'll check that down in the description below. This is Prodigy once again, guys. Peace out.